it. In the beginning, there was confusion. Aristotle, seated at a wooden desk, considered a slab of meat and declared life could arise from non-life. He called it spontaneous generation. The world nodded and agreed for centuries. Fast forward to millennia. John Needham, an English clergyman, repeated the test and believed he had proven Aristotle right. He boiled broth, sealed it, and watched it cloud. Life from nowhere, he said forgetting that air and time are mischievous things. Then came a new character, Louis Pasteur, with elegant swan neck flasks. Pasteur showed that Needham's cloudy broth was simply touched by airborne microbes. By keeping the flasks curve free of dust, the broth stayed clear. Life, he said, comes only from life. It. The liquid shone simple, silent proof, it, and the invisible world of microbes came into focus. It. Those tiny, unseen creatures became the true authors of disease and of discovery. It. Order began to replace chaos, and the foundation for modern medicine was laid. The germ theory was born.